Hey guys, it's Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always. So before I even get into anything, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the support I have been getting. I truly, truly appreciate it. Every time you take the little bit of time to just click a like button or share, subscribe, of course, comment, that helps me out so much. And I really just appreciate it so much. I really like being able to talk to you guys. The whole point of my channel, as I think I've said many times, is because I wanted to let everybody have the open forum to discuss all these things. And of course, I want it to be respectful as well. So please try to be nice to each other. You guys can have differing opinions and still be able to have a nice conversation about it. I know that sometimes it gets difficult. Sometimes it even gets difficult for me to, you know, not want to kind of preach my own thing. And I'm sure I've, I've done that to you guys. I want to talk about the documentary with where Stacey Dooley went into the Iowa prison system for women and kind of showed us around. We got to see how the warden is changing things up and making this much different than other prisons and um, also interviewed several of the inmates. So this particular post got a lot of comments both approving the prison and not so much. The discussion was a lot about the leniency. A lot of people thought it was great that the warden was giving these women chances that they hadn't gotten before and helping them become better people. And then there was other people who did not like that these people were getting too much leniency. They were getting benefits that they didn't really deserve. I fell into the group of not being such a fan. I have talked to a lot of you guys about how I felt about it. And I posted this video because I had learned that Cheyenne Harris was now residing in that prison. And I had followed Cheyenne's case. I have her, her story on my channel as well as her full trial. And it was a very disturbing case. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's a tough one. So going into watching this documentary, knowing that Cheyenne Harris was there and what she had done kind of gave me a different perspective because I was walking into it knowing who this woman was and how horrible she was and what she did. And yet she was now being given a lot more leniency than I would have expected and I would have hoped. So I feel like anybody who's watching the documentary should also watch the Cheyenne Harris video and vice versa because there's just a different understanding when you do that in my opinion that's how i feel i know a lot of you have seen both and you, or you know you've seen the documentary and you know about cheyenne harris and your opinion doesn't change but i also found it interesting that the comments i got under my cheyenne harris video the majority of them wanted her to basically suffer and rot and just rot in prison or even worse and yet the documentary, there was a lot of people that were saying, Hey, she's in prison. That's her punishment is being taken away from society. And sure, that's true. But you know, there's a point when I just feel like some people don't deserve it, but that's everybody has their different opinion. We all have our different opinions. And that's why I have this channel so that people can have a free discussion about what they think. Sometimes getting other people's opinions can give them some more understanding, can change their mind. I actually had a lot of um, different comments that gave me a little bit of a different perspective as well. However, I still am not a huge fan of certain people being given such opportunities in prison. Some okay, some not so much. Because of the fact that I'm saying that I think that you should know about Cheyenne Harris before you really think about this prison system as much and it just gives you a different perspective, because of that, I've decided that I think I would like to know more about the other inmates that are in there. I want to know what their life was like before prison. I would like to know what their actual crime was. So I want to research those. I want to know with Josette, did she just make a, a, a big mistake during a carjacking or was there something more personal? With Tatiana, her story about killing someone over a CD, um, 
was crazy to me. And she seemed like she had come a long way and become a really, really great person there. So that story was pretty surprising. And I wonder if there was more to it than just a CD. I hope there was. I really do hope there was with Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann was 14 at the time that she was sent to the prison. And I want to know, I'd be curious to know, did she just kill this, this innocent woman that was being very generous with her because she was scared? Or was there something more something worse to the story or something personal to the story. I want to look into this. And of course, Judy White. Judy White is one of the people that most everyone stuck up for. She's in her 70s. She's been there for years and she actually got a harsher sentence than the other people that were involved in this crime. However, as much as I like her and think she probably should be released at this point, I think that she absolutely downplayed her story and I've begun researching her and know that she most likely is not telling the whole story. And then there's Barbara. Barbara who says maybe her husband is the one who poisoned and set his house on fire or at least poisoned himself to set her up. Is that really what she thinks? Or is she just making up stories to try to help herself? Mind you, she just got there. She's just starting this life and maybe hasn't had the, the, the time to let this sink in and to finally just admit what she's done wrong. But don't know. Don't know what the deal is specifically until I research these people. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I'll be able to find enough information to be able to make another video letting you guys know all about the inmates that were interviewed. Because five minutes in an interview where you know you're being taped is not the same and it's probably not necessarily the full truth. And I'm hoping I can find out more about their past life and their crime. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully that'll be ready to go soon. In the meantime, like I said, I got Cheyenne Harris already on my channel. You can check out the video where I discuss her case. I give you the details and I give you my opinion, which I tend to do on my videos. And her trial, her full trial is also there. So you can catch up while you're waiting for my other video to come out. Because I'm sure you guys are just waiting for that, right? And there's other videos regarding another similar case, Kelsey Thomas. That's an interesting one also. Her full trial is on, on my channel if you want to check that out. And um, hopefully I'll be back soon getting into detail about these women that are in this Iowa prison system. The majority of you, I think, know about Cheyenne Harris and what she did, but not everyone. And before you go ahead and look at her videos and everything, I just want to warn you that her case was truly disturbing and I do get into some detail and I do so show some pictures on my video nothing graphic but it's an upsetting story so if you're not sure you want to get into that you might want to think about that first but it is there with the trial if you want to check that out while you're waiting for my other video to come out and for those of you that are interested in Todd Mullis another person that I have talked about in many videos. I also do have an update about him coming up very soon. And that's it for now. So again, so much appreciation to everyone who has been supporting my channel. You have no idea how much I appreciate it and how much it really helps me when you comment and just click that like button. It does wonders. And I hope that you continue to watch and enjoy my videos. I hope they're informative for you guys. And just thank you. Just thank you. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.